They are the gifted ones, the ones who push the boundaries of cardiovascular care. They transplant hearts and lungs, research stem cell therapies, perform emergency vascular surgery. They are the ones who tackle the complex and take on the complicated. They are the world-class physicians, researchers, and healthcare professionals who make up the heart, vascular, and thoracic team at UW Health. UW Health. Remarkable. Heart and vascular disease is the number one cause of death in the industrialized world. What's amazing is that over the last 10 to 20 years, there has not been any major advance in the pharmaceuticals to treat these conditions. We need to rethink things and shift our focus and resources on novel strategies to improve heart and vascular disease care. Here at the University of Wisconsin in Madison, we are exploring stem cells, but also other novel biologic treatments. These are treatments that may eventually be used on their own in isolation or in conjunction with stem cell therapies. Such strategies may include first growing and then directly transplanting heart muscle cells or cardiomyocytes as well as other supporting types of healing and regenerating cells into patients with heart conditions. We are looking at other biologic platforms such as bioreactors for growing new cells in tissue. We are exploring all of these approaches with the goal of being able to effectively and safely infuse or inject cells into patients with a variety of heart-related conditions. Patients with recent myocardial infarction, heart attacks, people with congestive heart failure and cardiomyopathy, those with pulmonary fibrosis, those needing expertise in electrophysiology, such as people with pacing conduction problems. We also need to tackle certain congenital heart problems and improve the outlook for kids who are born with heart defects. Our researchers have specific areas of expertise, ranging from benchside cellular development to clinical trials. In between, we have individuals who have expertise in expanding promising cell types for research and transplant. Finally, we are exploring targeted therapeutics, such as proteins or genes, to replace specific missing, diseased, or defective cells of the cardiovascular and cardiopulmonary systems. These are all areas that are prime targets for important new discoveries and much needed therapies because they affect so many people that we treat here at UW Health. Major discoveries cannot come from a single lab. Our work has to involve many collaborating researchers, their students, and clinicians in different areas of expertise from across campus. Important discoveries have happened at the University of Wisconsin in Madison over the past decade or so. We're excited and we're confident that we will have even more new therapies for our patients in the next 10 years and beyond.